Again, what I do is just, you know, a very rough picture. Something like this over your XY axis goes down. They say there's asymptotes of uh, plus or minus three fifths. And let's see what that means. That means the, um, it's gonna look sort of like this over here. Again, just it's just rough, right? That's an asymptote there. There's an asymptote over here. And then it says the vertices are at, um, you know, zero plus or minus nine. I'm gonna put it up here. And you know, it, it's sort of like this over the, 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 the It's an hyperbola, right? And down here, minus nine, or something like this. I, I get a pretty good idea what it looks like now. And let's write this down. So what are you gonna put down? You're gonna put y squared over something. Oh, by, I should point that out, the center is zero, zero. Uh, let's see, minus x squared over something, and that would equal one. And it, th these vertices are gonna help me a great deal because I know the point here is zero, nine, or if you prefer the point over there, zero, minus nine. You plug it in, All right? What are you gonna get? And again, I'm trying to figure out the bottom numbers. Um, well, whether you put nine or minus nine in, you're gonna get 81 over something. Minus zero over something equals one. And I know this number has to be 81 now. I'll put this over here, 81, all right? So I got that, and now I wanna get this um, other part, the asymptotes. And this for a lot of people is difficult because I'm wondering how, how could I possibly come up with that? Well, the way we're gonna do, do that is just you know write down you know something here. I'll put down B squared. I don't know what that is yet, but I do know the asymptotes. And so really what I know is that in the extremes, uh, the two terms, y squared over 81 minus x squared over b squared equals one. The difference between those equals one. But when you're in extremes, differing by one when you're super large is basically saying they're the same. All right, so let's write that down. So you can get y squared over 81 equals x squared over b squared. And let's just solve it for y. And what do you get? You get y squared is equal to 81 over b squared x squared, I'm going to use square root rule, y equals, this would be 9 over b, x, and I know the slope, I'll write this down for you, the slope is, um, the, I'm sorry, this is plus or minus, the slope has the ratio, I'm not looking at sine by way, 3 fifths, and 3 fifths should be the same thing as 9 over b. Well, let's see if we can figure that out, b would equal, well, let's see, 5 times 9, Divide by 3. Uh, 3 goes into 9 3 times. That's 15. And now I know what b squared is. It's 15 squared. So b squared is 15 squared. And 15 squared is 225. I'm ready to put that in now. And then I'm ready to look at the k to see how we did. That's 225. And let's look at the k. Working as advertised. Thank you.